so just coming out here to the ranch to check the water again tonight it's our turn to take water which uh, we're in a severe drought out here so we've been cut back on our water substantially everybody has um, and uh, so I just set these head gates a little while ago I'm gonna just check and make sure I got a stream in there So we got pretty good water. And then there's just getting it to go. Try to spread it out through the field as much as possible. You can see the, the grass is seeded out, but it's starting to dry up. For being a drought year, it's still pretty green. So there's the observation tower that we camped next to in season one. And there's the mesa that we were pointing the laser at. Matter of fact, that's the part of the mesa right there that we see light up occasionally. And to be clear, if you watch season one, episode two, where you see the, the clouds flickering, that's not what we're talking about when we are talking about the mesa lighting up. The actual mesa itself, uh, the flickering that you see in the episode is actually, uh, it's a flare, so we call flare off. There's a natural gas plant about 20 miles to the north. And on an overcast day, um, it will, the, the flame from it will flicker for miles and miles. And that's what we're seeing that night. So, but we did see a beam coming out over, over basically right like this. And we did see some light stuff going on, but it was actually the Mesa. I think for TV purposes, the flickering in the sky is really easy to show and it looks cool. So that's what they were using. So we'll drive across now and go check the rest of the water. Decided to do it right now because it's still kind of light. The last time I did this it was pretty dark. Well it was not pretty dark, it was really dark. So it's a lot harder to see. This is the part of the hill that we see light up sometimes. That's the spot right, uh, right that we're going by right now is the spot where we climbed up the hill on the very first time Travis visited the ranch. That's where we went. And uh, oh, got some deer out in the field. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. <clears throat> He's out there ways. There he is. Oh, he's got horns. He must sense we're zooming in on him. Yep, that one's got antlers, not horns, sorry. Use correct terminology here. Yeah, got a little buck out there. That's kind of cool. Don't massacre me in the comments because I said horns. I know they're antlers. <laughs> Beautiful out here tonight though on the ranch. The other day, I was driving across in the UTV and I about hit four elk. And here 
here we're in the triangle area look up and see if you see anything directly above us here the sky is kind of pretty tonight I think I can get a better picture of this dude out there. Alright, let's see if we can get him. He's definitely got antlers. I can hold my camera still enough. Kinda cool to see a buck out there. See lots and lots of deer, but most of them are does. And no, we don't hunt on the ranch. So, for now, he's safe. Really pretty out here tonight. Looks like I've got a pipe clogged up. Dang it. Ah, I'm gonna get the Jeep all muddy. Dang it. Okay, yep. I've got, got that pipe clogged up. I'm gonna have to come and unclog it. That's always fun. my muck boots and climb in the water and start pulling sticks and twigs and mud out of the jumped out in front of me right here. They were down in the canal getting a drink. They jumped out and scared me to death. I'm sure I scared them to death too. Still pretty and green over here, but I could see like, I think the camera's making it look greener than it really is because it's starting to dry up. Homestead 2. Oh, 
Homestead 3 is over there in that grove of trees. You can barely make it out. see through the trees. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. The old house in there. It's very creepy. Out of all the homesteads, Homestead 3 is the place that I like to be the least. To me, it's the creepiest. a little bit. So we take and open up this head gate. to get some water over here on the western side it's so weird it's like not hardly any clouds up there I mean it looks like it with a camera but it's raining so I'm gonna turn this off and go and clog a ditch 